after the colossal backlash of the new unified Lara Croft revealed from the official Tomb Raider website and it being cited as looking like a man, which I was one of those who think the same thing, Crystal Dynamics are backtracking now. They're saying, wait a minute, wait, whoa, hold up. This isn't the final version. Let's dive into this video and get to the bottom of this. So this was brought to us by the Core Design fan account. She does an amazing job um, sharing the love of classic Lara Croft and keeping her alive. Now she shares here, Crystal Dynamics have clarified that the new image of Lara Croft also available as wallpaper, is not the final model for the next game. And I love this by Manuela. She says, are they backpedaling so soon? Yes, they are, because the backlash has been insane. Everybody, almost, I mean, like, overwhelmingly, most people are saying this looks like a dude. And I made a... Um, video about it as well. But let's just go ahead and dive into this article. It is in Spanish, I believe. So I had to translate it to English. So it probably won't be perfect. But, you know, first of all, if you did not see my other video, this is a very masculine looking face, right? The brow and the forehead, especially very masculine. And at best, because some people are like, well, it could be worse. Is that supposed to be acceptable nowadays? Are we just supposed to accept breadcrumbs for Lara Croft, the most iconic female video game character of all time? Are we supposed to be happy with, well, it could be worse? I don't think so. So at best, this is an androgynous woman, okay? And at worst, it's a very manly looking woman. I think uh, I'm, I'm more uh, feeling the latter. This is a very manly looking woman with that brow and you crop the hair you kind of make it look like there's less makeup, add a little five o'clock shadow, you got a dude. That's all you got to do. And there's already a little bit of a five o'clock shadow there. So <laughs> anyway, let's dive into this. So those responsible for Tomb Raider clarify the misunderstanding with Lara Croft's new design. Crystal Dynamics clarifies that the image published for Tomb Raider does not reflect the design that Lara Croft will have in the game, but rather a unified version of the character. Well, they seem proud enough of it to make it as a desktop wallpaper for everybody to download. So I think this is backpedaling after the backlash, quite frankly. So a few days ago, a Tomb Raider wallpaper was made public and they dropped this on the day of the classic remasters to try to overshadow it, to try to get people more excited about that. Well, it didn't work. People are more excited about real Lara Croft from the remasters and nobody cared about this. Um, okay. Since his appearance, or <laughs> again, translation issue, since, well, either that or it does look like a dude, so I can understand. Since her appearance seemed like a hybrid version between the classic character and the version from the latest reboot trilogy, many people were quick to think that it was the first image of the new game in the Tomb Raider saga. However, those responsible have clarified that this is not the case. The new image published by Crystal Dynamics does not correspond to the design that Lara Croft will have in the video game that Amazon Games is going to develop. This has been clarified by those responsible for the project in statements issued to Vandal, where they assure that this wallpaper actually shows a unified version of Lara Croft, as they also indicate in a recent tweet. I mean, we knew that much, but we were led to believe that Lara Croft would be unified in the next game, which is retarded. I don't want unification. I want restoration of actual Lara Croft. This doesn't change anything. Well, let's continue. Um, in addition to clarifying that the new image of Tomb Raider does not necessarily represent what Lara will look like in the new game, those responsible for the project have warned that they are not yet prepared to sh share details of the next installment of this beloved franchise. The only thing we know at an official level is that it is being developed in Unreal Engine 5 and that it will seek to remain faithful to the origins of the saga by taking us to an environment that rewards creative exploration with challenging puzzles and a wide variety of enemies to which to face. I don't trust Crystal Dynamics to do anything faithful to classic Tomb Raider. Just saying that much. Um, we see this, just this unified wallpaper alone. 
is a good example of that. Anything they've ever done has not been has not been accurate to the classics. No, not even Legend Anniversary and Underworld, which were preschool baby down versions of the game that just happened to have a good aesthetic. Um, but completely changed Lara Croft as a character, her backstory, adding these companions in which changes her personality dramatically because Lara Croft liked to work alone and so on and so forth. But that said, this leads me to want to share a comment, which hold up, I've got to pull this from my DMs. Um, and I do not want to share my DMs with this person from the community. Now, someone in my comments claimed to know somebody who works there. And hey, this is open public in my comments on my last video. So that's why I will go ahead and share these. But um, let's hope that actually opens. No, it won't. But the reason, yeah, that's why I'll share it. But otherwise, I wouldn't share anything that was posted privately. But in this case, it was posted publicly as a comment on my video. But again, this is just from a regular YouTube user. We have no way of knowing if this is true or not. So, all right. Let me close those DMs and I and let's dive into this. All right, so here is part one of the comment. Rashid M. Vraid1199 says, important clarification regarding recent Tomb Raider game artwork. Dear all, I wanted to clear up some confusion I initially had when I saw the recent artwork for the upcoming Tomb Raider game. After reaching out to a friend from college who works at Crystal Dynamics, again, this is this may not even be true. It may not. So let's just take this with a grain of salt. Um, I learned that the artwork does not represent the actual reveal of Lara Croft for the next game. It is simply a piece of artwork similar to others where only her backside side is shown. Now, we did see that one with Brinock Adams that um, was just that. All right. So according to my friend who works as part of the design team, Lara Croft in the new game is portrayed with a more rebooted appearance, possibly resembling British actress Emily Blunt. Now, after reading that part, I started taking this somewhat, like I started entertaining that, okay, this could possibly be true. Again, maybe not, but there is a possibility of it simply because when we looked at the leaked documents that Sacred uh, Symbols podcast shared, with the casting of the new voice actress, they wanted a woman who resembled Emily Blunt. So either this commenter is privy to that and knew about that and used that in this thing that they could have made up or it's true. Okay. Or they're telling the truth. So let's see. All right. Contrary to some concerns, she will not be wearing short pants, but long brown tactical pants, which the fans have been wanting her to wear shorts and be more like classic Lara. So this would just serve the reboot fans. It would not be serving actual classic Tomb Raider fans. While she may appear more rebooted and have a different aesthetic, she certainly does not have a masculine face in gameplay as my friend showed me on message. Now, I will say, I don't think reboot Lara looks like a dude. Um, How do I... Scroll. I don't even know how to use these freaking pictures. Okay, let me let me try again um, to pull up part two of this. But yeah, I. All right, let's continue, and then I'll then I'll share some more of my thoughts. Okay. So now we have part two of the comment that says, furthermore, I was informed that the Society of Raiders mentioned in the artwork is actually a fan member site at Crystal Dynamics, which they already shared that. But the thing is, is the leaked documents indicated that there would be multiple Tomb Raiders. And that's why I was like, hmm, are they doing this? Um, but maybe that was scrapped because of the backlash of the leaks and they just decided to apply that to the website and call the fans that or something. I don't know. There were considerations to include Raiders in the game, but do, oh yeah, here we go. And then there's this, but due to intense backlash, which, which there was, the team decided to start anew and focus solely on Lara Croft in a fresh setting. That would definitely be an improvement over those leaks. If you don't know what all those leaks were, check out my videos in the past that I've made about it. 
However, knowing that there are clowns who work with him, this game will be Crystal Dynamics' last game from the Tomb Raider IP. Embracer Group has told Crystal Dynamics to stop going woke and deliver quality to the gaming experiences for fans and the community. Embracer Group are 100% on the fan side because that's where the money is. Also, I forgot one thing my friend told me. If this game fails to meet expectation, Embracer Group will take the Tomb Raider IP away from Crystal Dynamics and shut down Crystal Dynamics for good. Now, this already is very plausible. And before I even saw this comment, I mean, we we seen what Embracer has already been doing. We we knew this. We were like, okay, they've already been, uh, they, they've outsourced the remasters to Aspire. Crystal Dynamics did not make them. And despite Crystal Dynamics trying to sabotage things with like that, disclaimer at the beginning and revealing all of this other stuff on the same day of release it backfired on him it didn't work the remasters have been doing very well and they've been going viral the fans love it newcomers love it all that sort of stuff so right now it is not looking very good for crystal dynamics now this next game that they are making assuming it even gets released because Embracer has been canceling projects left and right. Um, and with all the backlash of this unified Lara concept art, who knows, Embracer might go ahead and cancel before they even reveal the game. But if they don't, and because Crystal Dynamics have been working on this next Tomb Raider installment for so long, then before Embracer even bought it. So a lot of money has already been dumped into this before Embracer even bought it. So Embracer might just be like, heck it, release it, and we'll see what happens. However, that being said, Crystal Dynamics has, with their last three games, have had to, to have budgets of over $100 million per game, right? So that's, the, that's one reason why they were sold in the first place and the Tomb Raider IP was sold in the first place because despite the sales numbers looking high, which a lot of those granted... Um, are fudged because they're counting when they were freaking giving, literally giving some of the games away in bundles, in like uh, games, like the, the Xbox Game Pass, so on and so forth. They, Shadow of the Tomb Raider went on sale almost immediately after releasing. Um, it did not do well. So you can't just look at numbers alone. The game struggled to break even. We don't have the actual data for... Um, the last two games, but even with the performance of the first game, it did not meet expectations. This is what happens when you have these extremely massive budgets. Now look at something like what Aspire has done with the remasters, which was very low budget and it's selling like hotcakes. Now imagine if that outsells what Crystal Dynamics has worked on. That's going to be telling for Embracer that, hey, you can do these lower budget Tomb Raider games and get a lot more return on investment for it. Um, so in this instant, people are already sick of the rebooted formula. People are already ready for Lara Croft to return. So I'm curious to see, assuming all of this is true, which again, though, we already know this next this next game is is Crystal Dynamics' last chance. Embracer isn't going to sink in $100 million into another game if Crystal Dynamics doesn't do well with this next one. I mean, that's just common sense. So whether or not this comment is entirely true or not, there's definitely pieces of it that we know makes sense and probably is. So take that uh, as you will. We'll see what happens. In my, in my opinion, best case scenario would be the next game wouldn't even come out. That... Embracer would just be like, let's just scrap this in general. See the backlash for everything that Crystal Dynamics is releasing right now or revealing, even with that unified image, and say, you know what, let's just let's just cancel this. The classics are working. Let's remaster four and five, maybe even six, and then continue from there. Um, I mean, people, the, some of the fans are asking right now for Legend and Underworld, even Anniversary, to get remastered. I think that's unnecessary. I want to see this franchise stick with the classics, not with anything Crystal Dynamics has done. That includes Legend, Anniversary, and Underworld, because like I said, those are play school versions. They babied down the gameplay of Tomb Raider. They changed Lara Croft as a character, her backstory, all that stuff. She looked good, but her actual character story, adding the other characters in there, all that sort of stuff, it's just not Lara Croft. So in my perfect world, they would go ahead and remaster 
Last Revelation and Chronicles. Um, I think for the AOD fans, go ahead and demake in a perfect world. They would demake An Angel of Darkness in the classic engine. Um, and then they would move forward with the franchise, not with the AOD continuations, but with a brand new adventure that brings people back on track to classic Tomb Raider, which is adventuring and Lara Croft doing it for sport and not so much focusing on her personal life or making her on the run for murder or anything like that. She just needs to go on adventure for her own selfish ambition. So there you have it with my opinions. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you want me to read the Bible to you, you can check out my Bible channel, Bible Time with Melanie Mac, as well as my streams, where lately I've been playing the Tomb Raider Remaster games at youtube.com slash Melanie Mac, also on Twitch and Kick at Melanie Mac. So thank you all again. I'll catch you next time. And in the meantime, go boom. Miles Morales is Miles Morales. Miles Morales.